once you're in the meeting, you and your students might decide to use the chat. And it's always a good idea, of course, to monitor the chat. Uh, worth noting, if you find it a little overwhelming monitoring the chat on the same device where you're sharing and you don't have multiple screens, you could log in on your phone. So you can be logged in twice and use your phone as a way to monitor chat. But let's click into the chat area and see what we got. If I've sent some messages in advance of the meeting, they will appear there. I can type new things, say hi to my students. I can actually change the font and do things like bold, italicize, underline. I could attach files. Again, I can upload or drag and drop files into the chat. Though remember, this is giving the students a copy of it for them to download, edit. If I click the garbage can, I can get rid of the uh, message I started to compose. I do have things like emojis I can use and search through. I can also use GIFs, which can be fun. And really, those are kind of the key highlights of the chat area.